Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to fold towels by rolling them. This is going to give them a professional looking finish. They will look great even if they have to be out in the open in a room like a bathroom or even if they're tucked away in a basket in your linen closet, they will look so neat and organized. I'll be showing you how to do this on towels of all sizes from washcloths to full size towels. If you're new to my channel, be sure to hit the red subscribe button down below and don't forget to turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss a future upload. If you like this towel folding method, I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. Let's go ahead and get started. In today's video, I'll be teaching you two different methods of folding your towels, both involving rolling. They just end up with a different end result. But let's start with the first one. You're gonna pick up your back corner. You're gonna fold this over so you get a triangle shape over half of your towel. Next, you wanna take the bottom and fold this over hot dog style so that you can see I've got my fold with my triangle at the top. Then I'm going to completely flip the entire towel over. This is easier with smaller towels, I will say. Next, from the bottom, you're going to roll your towel all the way up through to your triangle. And once you are left with just the top corner of the towel, you're gonna tuck this in to the outside edge of the roll that you now have. What this does is it's going to produce a V design in the middle of your towel. It's also gonna make it pretty sturdy. So you'll see I will drop this and toss it around. It's not going to unravel. So it, I like it one for how it looks, but also how sturdy it is. So now let's go ahead and do this process again with a full towel. So it's bigger, it's a little bit harder to work with, but we're gonna do the exact same thing. Take that back corner, fold it over, match up the ends so that you get a triangle shape. Then you're going to take the bottom half, fold it over hot dog style, line up the ends there. You can see you can pull the towel towards you to make it a little bit easier to work with. Once you have made those two folds, you're going to turn the entire towel over so that the fold line is on the bottom. And then, just like we did with the hand towel, you are going to just roll this up from the very bottom, keeping a tight roll so that you minimize space as much as possible. Because one of the benefits of this, not only does it look nice, whether it's out or if it's in your, it's in your linen closet, but it is a safe, it is a space-saving way to store your towels. So again, tuck in that corner that you are left with right into the edge of your roll. And again, you have a nice V shape in the middle of your towel and it's not going to come apart. You may now be wondering, okay, but does this work with washcloth sized towels or with oversized towels? It does. It, the process is just gonna look a little different. So let's start with a washcloth. You're still going to fold over and get your triangle shape, though you're not gonna be left with much at the bottom, but it did not prevent me from still folding that second fold it's just going to look different. And then you just want to roll it up after flipping it and tuck in your very small corner on this one. And you can still see I am left with a sturdy and visually appealing washcloth roll. Next, let's see what this looks like on oversized towels because I do have some that are bath sheets instead of just bath towels. And it looks great with the smaller ones it also looks great with the larger um, bath sheets. The process again, hopefully you're getting good at it by this point, it's gonna be the same. So make sure that you with an oversized towel have a big working space like a bed, like you see me here, so that you can do your folds and have it all lay relatively flat. So again, we're making our first triangle fold, then we're folding over the second half and here I have to kind of maneuver the towel around in order to get the ends to line up nicely, but you do want to take that extra step. Next, flip the entire towel over, and then you're going to roll from the bottom. As the towels get bigger, I do recommend that you really try to roll your towels tight. Um, again, this is going to help you save space in your linen closet later on. Um, it's also going to make sure that the end product doesn't look too big and overwhelming because even though it's got a nice fold in it, 
if the towel roll gets too big, I do think it, it doesn't look quite as good. And here, as I roll it up, again, I'm just gonna tuck the end into the corner of the roll, and ta-da, I have the finished bath roll, or you can see what it looked like with all of my spare towels. So they stack really nicely. You can even just leave them like that in the linen closet or out in a room. And if you've got a guest staying with you, they're gonna feel like they're at a fancy hotel. And then there's what my pile looks like for the smaller towels as well. The second method is gonna require that all of your towels start in a square shape. So I'll start with a washcloth to show you how this works. You're gonna fold in two of the corners on top of one another. Then you're going to pick up the towel in the center, flip it over, pull back one side, roll, and then you'll be tucking directly in the center of the washcloth or the towel this time around. This provides a different V shape, but it is still just as sturdy. And in my opinion, I actually like the look of this towel roll a little bit better. So let's go ahead now and do this one more time. This time with a hand towel. So again, you want to start with as close to a square shape as possible. So I'll start by folding my hand towel in half. Then I'm going to take two corners opposite one another, fold them in so that they are meeting in the middle of the towel. I'm going to pick up, pinch in the middle, flip, pull back the corner closest to me so that you can see they're kind of in diamond shape. And then I'm going to roll my towel take the end and tuck it directly in the middle of my towel roll. This method is definitely trickier to get the towel to tuck and not come unrolled, but once you get the hang of it after trying it a couple times, it's not too difficult. So now let's try this with a full bath towel. So again, we want to start with a square shape or as close to it as we can get. So I'm going to fold my towel in half and then lay it out flat. I'm going to be taking my two corners opposite one another, folding them in on top, pinching in the middle, flipping, pulling that corner back to me so I have that diamond shape, and then I'm going to start my roll from the end closest to me. Roll that up, keeping it as straight as possible, take my end and tuck it directly into the middle of my towel roll. Again, if it's a little bit difficult for you to tuck at first, no worries, just keep practicing, and you can see you get a slightly different end design than you did with the first roll. Let me know if you try these, which roll you like best, design one or design two. Thanks for joining me, and let me know if you got any questions in the comments below.